Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and I will admit to you that I'm gonna take the easy way out today. And for the large circle prompt, I'm using this beautiful paper from um, Vicki Booten. And I've pulled just a few Vicki Booten supplies. I've had this fussy cut flower, or I had this uh, piece of paper in my fussy cut pile. I think that's from Print Shop, and I believe this is from Where To Next. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I've, I've had all these things kind of jumbled together and I've lost track of which collections. I've worked with them all so much. Um, and I have this, this is the natural photo of James and Reese. And I filtered it a few times to get a strip because I just love that photo. And there's no uh, particular um, story behind it. I don't even know uh, who took it. I'm gonna assume it was Katie, maybe Ava. Had to be Katie or Ava because Barrett's not here. So I'm gonna put a little foam behind it. I, I dry fit it to um, shorten the process. Um, James is getting ready to go out of town and I promised we would have some leftover gumbo from last night. And so I wanted to get this finished in time to get it heated up and get some rice cooked. Okay, um, I've got these little bits of Spectrum Sherbet um, film strips. I have this very old fussy cut camera from some collection. I may trim the um, white around those. Let me just kind of move these things off and I'll figure out where to place this. I also have a uh, an alpha that I covered, colored with a Posca pen and I have a couple Posca pens out and I have a fun alpha from Print Shop. I'm just going to go, I'm going to put it at a different angle than the, the lines there, and we'll see how that works out. I keep putting my scissors away thinking, well, I'm not going to be cutting any more paper, but I just, I need <laughs> my scissors. I should never put them away. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. And I kind of liked, well, let's see, do I like the green or do I like this teal? I think I like the green there. And I'm going to what did I do with it here? I'm gonna put it on this kind of taller, thicker piece of foam and see if I like it. I didn't, there was a page I didn't like that on. Okay, that seems to work. And these, let me give a trim. around here, I won't get too detailed. These are from the paper repack and the, the borders are a little bit wider than I normally like. It gives you a lot of flexibility though. And sometimes I do use them with the wide border because I don't mind the wide borders. It's just if I'm using them with things that don't have it. 
Sometimes I care and sometimes I don't. Today I'm electing to care. So this, um, the title I'm going to use is T-Boy and His Dog, um, or T-Boy and Reese, I guess. I'll just do that a little bit. I'll, I'll decide when I see how much room I have as we go around there. And T-Boy is the nickname he had for years until he went to school and discovered that his name was James. And at that point, he didn't want to be called Jim or Jimmy or uh, anything other than James. He thought that was a kind of a revelation at school that, that that was his real name. And he wondered why we'd been calling him T-Boy all this time. And like his dad still, until the day he died, still called him T. He'd shortened it to T. He, he kind of uh, made me and John uh, start calling him James. And at one point, because he came back from his dad's and because his dad was still calling him T. He asked, could he change his name to TJ? So he'd have, <laughs> he'd have a name that explained why he was called the two different things in the two different households. <laughs> Bless his heart. I'm sure a uh, psychiatrist would have a field day with that. And the, you might say that explains a lot, but I think, <laughs> I think he's over it. And his kids, of course, love hearing the T-Boy story. And every once in a while, they'll, uh, they'll look at an older picture of him that I've scrapped and they'll say, oh, look at T-Boy. So, we're done here, and I'm just going to put that there and let it overlap the, um, I want a different type of foam tape for this one. I'll let it overlap that photo because you're not really losing anything since the photo is repeated so many times. I'm going to put this. here and just a little bit right there. I want to make sure this fits on the page. There we go. And Okay, and I had another, let's see, I want this, the side is missing off that, one side is, it was at the edge of the paper when I cut it out, but, so I'm, tucking it under the um, butterfly. And then I'm gonna put, I forget what color I had there. I thought maybe I had a yellow one. There is a yellow one there. Do I want yellow? Uh, actually, if I could find a small teal one, I'm going to do that. I guess the closest one to get to is there. So all the time I saved by 
pre-fitting the design, I'm going to spend fussy cutting things that I should have done before. Okay. And I'm, I didn't distress that one, so I'm not going to distress this one, but I am going to put it on a foam strip, but the thinner foam strip. I want it to sit down a little bit flatter. Okay, I like that there. I also like having a gold one of these here. just to brighten up the color palette that's developing down here. Um, I'll put it right there. Okay, now I'm going to do the film strips. I will worry about where to put these once I get the rest of the page composed. Um, I was a little concerned that these film strips wouldn't show against the teal, and they don't, but then they become when they don't contrast and form a feature, they kind of become a texture. And that's okay with me. Um, you'll somewhat know they're there. I don't know if I should do this one that way, and then I'll do the other one stacked, maybe. I kind of like the stacked. Uh, I'll do that that way. Okay, and if you, see, you do kind of see the yellow. It's just the green that really fades. Now, let's get this one. I love these film strips and I've managed to get enough in kits and ones that I bought myself to have a really nice selection of colors. And <laughs> I have a... Um, a die that cuts any pattern paper or solid paper, black paper, for example, into um, film strips. So I can have film strips on every page if I want to. <laughs> uh, let me put the title on um, just real quick and we'll see if there is, if it tells us where we want other um, ones of the, the little uh, umbrellas. So let's go with a striped T. I'm gonna start the title here, and there's 
when we used to write it, we wrote it with a dash, and I don't have anything that that's a dash, but I can use this little guy as something of a spacer. And now, And T-Boy came from all of my um, French-speaking relatives when I brought him home as a baby. Um, they all, uh, aw, chat T-Boy. And it stuck. <laughs> it kind of stuck. Let's see, I want a different looking Y. And this one that has kind of a gray tweed on it is kind of nice. With the gold down there. And I think I'm gonna spell out and. Let's, I think I have the, the letters. If I don't, I have another pick, uh, another package of these alphas. And so I'm going to go with it. Small N. I don't want to hit the gold part up there. And then let's see. This may hit it anyway, but that's okay. I don't like that uh, D. I'm gonna go for the one that's lowercase. Now I need an R that's about as big as I can get. I'm going to go for this one. So I am going to hit that. It's no, um, there, there are no two ways around it. And then I'm going to go with this E. And I have to finish because I have an alarm that's going to interrupt us at uh, in 15 minutes if I don't. That looks... Let me get another E. Do I want the little E or a big E? I'll go with the big E. And he calls a reser. So I'm going to add an R there. And what I was looking for was to see how much space would be left over because that there's where we can do some um, maybe a cluster of those guys. Now I had this guy, which I painted with my Posca pen and I don't need it, but it will come in handy for another layout, I'm sure at some point, somewhere. So let me put up the glue and I'm going to pull some, what did I do? I moved the packaging that had my, <laughs> my stuff on it. Okay. 
I'm going to, where can I use this? I'm gonna put it down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put it flat and, and put it right here. on the end of the page. And I may put one of these little ones here and I'm gonna put a little bit of foam behind it, but not the tall foam. I like the combination of colors. The um, They don't match the colors from the print shop collection are different from the colors from the other collections I'm using, but I think all of them are represented in the film strip. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Let me move this over a bit and I'm going to put this one up high or no, I'll put this one fairly low and here, and then I'm going to kind of scooch that right there, and I'll put that one flat, and I'll put the little green one high, and we're done. Just a random goofy photo filtered four times and printed in a film strip. And it, it really emphasizes his blue eyes. <laughs> it's, it's, he's always, um, felt like his eyes weren't blue enough. <laughs> his and mine are grayer than um, many of my dad's relatives, including my brother and my nephew, that's the same age as James. Their their eyes are just absolutely startlingly blue. And most of my dad's brother's eyes were like that, and my dad's. But not me and James. Okay, so now I was gonna do some, use my Posca pen, to do some um, centers in these. Um, and, and I thought I might use a blue that's in this photo, but not anywhere else. So it's gonna contrast everywhere I put it. Okay, it's not making a very big dot. I'm afraid to press too hard, but the little dots might be cute. Now the dots are coming out a little bit bigger. There, there's no dot showing on that one. So I'll just go to this one and very carefully up to that one. And do I need any other little dots around? Maybe, maybe red ones. See, I like these splotches. And I, that's okay there. And it'll take a minute for these to dry. So I won't move the page. I'm saying that for my benefit, not, not necessarily yours. So that kind of gives some, I'm gonna misshape, I'm gonna change the shape of these. I'll do one there, and I'll do one down here. Okay, I'm done. I'm 
happy with it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.